As we continue Family Safety Week, staying safe on social media sometimes goes against what teenagers enjoy most about it, sharing information. Crime Tracker 10's Jeff Hogan uncovers some of the real dangers as kids wander in and out of social sites. The bulk of social media interaction among kids is innocent, just harmless back and forth banter, status updates and cute photos. But experts know predators are on the prowl looking for a weak link, a depressed kid, one easily manipulated, maybe lacking supervision. And that's when visiting virtual space can get dangerous. A fourth grader's rules for internet use at school include a lot of do's and don'ts and warnings. The Franklin County Sheriff's Office says similar rules should apply to home use as well. Because you're at home doesn't mean you're safe. Sheriff Zach Scott says nationally more than 90% of inappropriate social media activity happens at a home, either yours or somebody else's, and initiated most often by imposters posing as kids, looking for private places to talk on sites like Snapchat, Kick, and Instagram. The children have to understand if you're a middle schooler and someone's telling you who they are, there's no guarantee that person's who they are. That none at all. Statistics show one in seven kids aged 10 to 17 will be sexually solicited on the internet. 70% of those are female. Chat rooms are the most likely grounds for a connection. And even Sheriff Scott seems surprised by how many kids followed up with a total stranger's online request to get together offline. Yes, 10% of our kids have admitted, yeah, I've met someone who I've never, never met before other than online and I met with them in person. Before that ever happens, kids should be aware of the signs of a dangerous situation. When they start going down the road of pictures, that's a red flag. The scenario of you send your picture, I'll send mine, is known to law enforcement as sextortion. Experts say your profile picture is revealing enough. You send a photo out there. You put your phone number out there. You put your date of birth out there. It's out there forever. You're not going to get it back. You will not have control of it. Remind your kid anything they put out there is not theirs anymore. Besides the physical dangers, it could include legal consequences as well. Sheriff Scott says some teenagers think sexually explicit photos can disappear off some apps. They don't. And some think it's okay if you're underage when you send them. It's not. He assures us juveniles can be charged for sending that type of material. For Crime Tracker 10, I'm Jeff Hogan. And predators will follow chats and learn what children like, then try to friend them and send them messages. Experts say go over home rules with kids about use. Limit computer use time. Keep computers in the common area of your house. If your children become evasive with you about what's going on online, that's a red flag.